you know, this is, like I said, this is, um, this is real big. You know, this is, this is Michael Jackson and Prince. This is the concert that nobody would expect to happen. So. <laughs> in the work for years in in Chicago and all around um, to get the voice out to free your father. But now you have two of hip hop's biggest figures squashing their beef, coming together in the name of freeing Larry Hoover. And you guys just announced and confirmed that the concert is going down on December 9th. Talk to me a little bit about the whole process. Like, how did this happen? How did you end up getting Drake and Kanye advocating for the freedom of Larry Hoover? Well, this was the idea of my father, seeing that it was connections to Drake and Kanye and that they were such iconic figures and with them going through things, like his, his idea was always about togetherness. So seeing that those guys were iconic and they were feuding and beefing back and forth, you know, he was, saying that people follow their lead on things like they not necessarily just go stop in the streets because those guys come together but it's it's a segue to guys in the industry showing that you can put your put things to the side and move forward you know put your differences to the side and move forward and together they can do big things they can lead the way to other artists in the industry to making changes and maybe squashing some of their beefs because up under them is artists in the industry that are actually dying over beefs back and forth. Like yeah. it, it's really about about men putting their differences to the side and, you know, making it safer for us and just letting those guys be the the champions for their community. Yeah. Once they make it to the position that they make it to, they can come back and give back to the community. They can bring other people up out of the community and lead them into the type of situations that they're in. So that was just my father seeing, looking at who they are and where they were and seeing how they can use their platforms to, to help people out, you know what I mean? But now as far as helping him out, like Kanye is from Chicago, and then we connected to Jay Prince, with, who was very close with Drake, like they helped Jay Prince play a major role in pulling this all together. If it wasn't for Jay Prince, I wouldn't know Drake. If it wasn't for GLC, mm -hmm. a friend of mine, I wouldn't know Kanye. So it just, the process was just through relationships and my father having that ideology and then them getting to know the story of my father and what's going on with him because it's just a, a unfair situation. Like, if this was anybody other than my father, you know, with him being um, qualifying for being released, they would more than likely be released, just like the other individuals that are going through his exact same situation and they have been released. But because of him, who, who his name is, who, the legend of Larry Hoover, you know, he's held and he's still held because of the legend of Larry Hoover. So they understand that and they're trying to get behind the message so that they can be treated fairly, so that the world can know, so that the, the government can know that we don't see him as a threat to the community. We see him as an asset to the community and we need to make noise for we need to make noise to let them know that that we want Larry Hoover in the community. It's like that um that he's somebody that's gonna come and destroy the community. He's gonna if if allowed to, he will make efforts to better the community. That's if he's allowed to, you know. They don't want him from the way they from what they do, they don't want him in the community. The the government, they say he's gonna cause problems, he's not gonna cause problems. Mm -hmm. So, 
just the whole thing with with Dre and Rake with Drake and Ye is just like a dream come through to be able to get to a platform so big so that we can get so many people, make so many people aware of what's going on and have people help say that we want Larry Hoover to come home and have people maybe call the governor's office to sign petitions to go to their local politicians and what have you and understand which type of bills take our fathers out the committee out the community like it's just it's just a blessing to be able to have this platform and advocate for my father and other fathers and just mothers and other parents that are incarcerated like it's something that I didn't see it happening like this and and it is so it's just a, a beautiful thing does he know does he know that two of the biggest hip-hop artists are coming together and the name of freeing him is he aware yeah he's aware of it you know and um you know he's he's a little bit um you know he has to be concerned he doesn't know how it may affect him he he's concerned that it may affect him negatively because showing his influence yeah it's showing his influence but his influence is is positive like his influence him being an influential person it just it won't just disappear <laughs> you know him being an influential person being who he is being a charismatic person it's just who he is and like he can't make that disappear but he can make it disappear the fact that he he can make he can show that he would never use his influence negatively like he's he's been gone for so long like if he had an opportunity to come home to use his influence negatively would be ridiculous like i said on the kanye album i wouldn't be advocating for my father if he used his influence negatively if he was to come home and use his influence negatively like he wouldn't be my father at that point like putting us through this for all these years and fighting for him to come home and being nervous and scared in front of people and the things that they may say like just the life that i've lived being scared not knowing if people were with me or against me and then we fight for him and he was you know was interested in some type of crime or what have you like I mean, I don't know what to say. I'd be highly upset, but I, I don't believe I could deal with him. I couldn't deal with him. Like, this would be like, you lied to me, you... Yeah. Yeah, you played me, you know? Did you ever in your wildest dreams think that Kanye and Drake would be coming together to free your father? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... I just could see it being possible with him coming up with the ideology and knowing that it was a it was a way to reach to both of them. I seen it. I didn't think it would happen, but it was it was possible, but not probable. So what can fans expect from the concert? Talk to me a little bit about the background. Like what's going on? Give me the tea. <laughs> uh, well, I can't give much tea because oh, come on. Kanye is you know he handles they both they're both artists they're big artists and they kind of handling their own creative sides of things i'm like a guest and an honoree as far as this is concerned so i don't really have much input to what's going to happen <laughs>